So, so therefore, when I had yesterday the people who, who were here, uh, I said, uh, let me talk to these people so that we can see how we can work together to, to, to strengthen the black people. The, all, all over the world, and the, here, for the people who are coming from the U.S., here we, we are struggling with the, the, the four principles. Principle number one, we rejected the politics of identity. The, the, Uh, the politics of religion, of tribes, because we said all these people, even if they have got different identities, but they have got similar needs. So why do you talk about identity and you don't talk about their needs? H hunger, poverty, disease, under development, why don't you talk about that? Why do you why do you talk about identity, identity, identity? Uh, and I like to give the example of my tribe, because my tribe, these people know know it. They are cattle keepers. They are people of cows. Now, when you examine them, the question is, how can my tribe? be prosperous. The only way they can be prosperous is to sell what they, pro what they produce. And what do they produce? They produce milk, they produce beef, they produce bananas. But when you study carefully, they don't buy from one another. A will not buy from B, and B will not buy from A. Why? Because they are producing similar products. I have milk, my neighbor has milk. He can't buy from me, I can't buy from him. I have beef, he has got beef. I have got bananas, he has got... So, so, so really, the people who help my tribe to be prosperous are the other tribes of Uganda. The ones who don't, who don't have what we have. So when I come and, and, and I talk, my tribe, my tribe, my tribe, I emphasize my tribe. Instead of, of emphasizing Uganda, I am actually an enemy of Uganda, of my tribe first. Because if, if Uganda was not stable, there is no way my tribe would be prosperous. Because the people who, who make my tribe prosperous are the other Ugandans. So that's why we say, uh -uh, principle number one of our, of our ideology, love Uganda. Why do you love Uganda? Because you need it. It is the one which will help you to get out of your problems. And then we say, but when we really wake up and start producing a lot, you'll find that even the internal market of Uganda is not enough. Right. And, and these people know it now. They know that uh, maize, what, we are producing so much. The internal market is not enough. So that's why we need the East African market. That's why yesterday you, you, you heard us singing two anthems. The one of Uganda, and the one of East Africa. Because for us to be prosperous, we need the Ugandan market, we need the East African market, we need the African market. So I think the, the African people in the, on the globe should see how to resolve the issue of linking through the market. What I produce, you buy. What you produce, I buy. So that we, we, we empower one another mm. through
the market linkages. <laughs> but, but secondly, the issue of loss of value. Because part of the problem why Africa is still lagging behind is that we, we lose a lot of value every day. If, for instance, you take the coffee business, the coffee business in the world is worth $460 billion. But all the coffee growing countries in the world, out of this 460 billion, they share only 25 billion. The rest, more than 400 billion, is taken by other people. And when it comes to Africa, Africa shares only 2.5 billion out of the 460 billion. And Uganda takes almost 900 million of that, of the, of the 2.5 billion. 900 million is, is taken by Uganda. But what is the problem? The problem is that Africa end, ends at growing the, the, the coffee and, and de, de, de husking the coffee. De husking. De husking means remove the, husk. remove the husk. And you, you, you sell like that. Now, when somebody takes it, he, he roasts the coffee, grinds it, packs it, that's how he gets all the other value. Now, when you, when you sell the, the husked coffee, good quality, you get about $2.5 per kilo. Now, when somebody roasts it and uh, does the rest, he gets 40. F for what you got two, two and a half, <laughs> for him he gets 40. Now, that means loss of money per kilogram. Per kilogram, you are losing your money per kilogram, per kilogram. And the jobs. Because remember, the one, the one who is manning the roasting machine is not an African uh, girl or, or boy. The one who is doing the grinding is not an African boy. The one who is doing the packaging. So, uh, this is the big hemorrhage that should, should we, we, here we are struggling to stop it. Uh, but, but if we if we work together and do the two things, link through the market, but also add value to all our, product, our, our products, Africa in a very short time will be very far. In a very short time. <laughs> so okay. they, they, they yeah. wanted to not even go there because of that war. They have lost so much property and the war continues. The person they can is, and, and in the US, these people from Cameroon have links to both. Those mistakes. Mm. Felix Mumi, UPC, Union Populisawa Cameroon. The war in Cameroon, I moved to the United States seven years ago. We are very involved in politics in Cameroon. I don't know if you know about Albert Mukong, who was with Kruma, Kwame, and all of them, the prisoner without a crime. That's our father. So I moved to the United States to be with my brother who is over there, because we can't even go to our own home in Cameroon. We, for seven years, I've not been to my house. For seven? seven. Yes, sir. Mm. ever since the war broke out there because once our names are mentioned, you know, we are on the red there because our dad started fighting Ahiju, you know, 
for the, he didn't want the United Republic, he wanted a federal republic, he wanted independence for, for, for Southern Cameroons and so on. So we grew in that setup. So we actually formed the- What was your father's name? Albert Mukom. Albert? Mukom. Mukom? Yes. Um. If you Google, he's the prisoner without a crime in Cameroon. So from that background, from birth, we already <laughs> were in that political setup. So finally, my brother went back to, to, to the United States. He's been there for a very long time. But it is our, our heritage, and we had you know, a plan. When we got born again, we understood that they are using occultic powers to fight. We will use spiritual power and wisdom. So while in the United States, um, I focused on... Who, who, who are still strong on that? And then 